What's going on, guys? Today, I will be teaching you how to make infused chicken cheesesteak rolls. Let's get into it. So, the first thing you want to do is put your can of butter in the pan. I don't really measure, but you can go based on how much butter you want to put in there. So, I'm just letting my butter heat up and warm up before I put my chicken cheesesteak inside the pan. So, the next thing you want to do is start to add your chicken cheesesteak meat. And a little more can of butter so once you do that you just want to chop it up really fine and then let it cook down and then drain some of that oil off of there so once you have chopped it up really fine and mixed it all together with your can of butter you just want to start to add your seasoning which is going to be seasoning salt salt and pepper you don't have to put the salt in there because you're using seasoning salt but I like to use the seasoning salt and the salt because it gives it a nice flavor. And your um, pan should sound like this. You want it to have it on a medium heat. And so here I'm just adding my salt, my seasoning salt, and my pepper. And I'm just mixing it around. Oh yeah, I did take some of that grease off the bottom. Just a little bit because that, that does have your can of butter inside there along with the fat. You just want to drain it just a little bit so that your um, cheesesteak rolls won't be greasy when you, um, you're you making them. So once you got your seasoning and stuff all mixed together, you want to start. You just want to turn that off and start to make your, um, your egg rolls. You can see here that I got egg roll wraps. They're really cheap. They only like $2.99. Some stores they're $1.99. And I got cheese, American cheese. And you need a cup of water so that you can wet the edges of the wonton so that you can roll it. So now you just want to get your egg roll ready. I'm just, I'm going to put it on a plate, but you don't have to put it on a plate. And you just want to wet your edges. This is how it looks. You just want to wet your edges so that they can be moist for when you're ready to roll your egg roll. And then you want to get your cheese and just um, fold it in half and place it in the middle of your egg roll. I also added a little extra can of butter. You don't have to, but it's up to you if you want them to be stronger. Or I did uh, some with the extra can of butter and i did some without just to see how strong they would be and you just want to add your meat into the middle just like i'm doing you don't have to put a lot it just depends on how big you want your egg rolls then you want to fold fold and then fold the other corner and then just start to roll it roll it as slow as you can because you just want all the pieces to stick together and just wet it make sure your hands are wet so that they, it can stick easier so once you're done that it should look like this you just want to continue the process and just keep wetting the egg roll placing the cheese in the middle and your extra can of butter if you like and then rolling it making sure your hands is wet every time you roll that egg roll so it won't uh, mess so as up. you can see i started to get my oil ready i have that on a uh, low to medium heat because you don't want your oil to be too hot because they do cook fast and your meat is already cooked. You just want the egg roll wrap and the cheese to, you want the cheese to melt and the egg roll wrap to be crispy. So right here, I'm just splashing a little water in there just to see if my oil is hot enough for me to put my egg rolls in and it is. So I'm just going to do two at a time and just move it around. You see how fast it is cooking. So you just want to keep turning it and turning it. I made these plenty of times, so I don't really have to do that. But you want to do it if it's your first time. You just want to keep rolling them around. And they just going to crisp up. And once they get a brown um, and crisp texture... You just want to take them out and put them into um, a, a strainer. So as you can see, they're starting to become the color that you would like them to be. And you just want to make sure they're, they're brown and then take them out of the grease, the oil, or whatever you want to call it. And just continue to 
do the same thing with the other. This is the finished product. If you like this video, please like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more recipes.